Welcome, Survivor, to Very 42 Space Building Incorporated, or something like that. So if you caught my base build uh, previously, you probably saw my Deadly May Space stuff was, well, it's set up in a fairly straightforward manner. You have a ramp up, you have a bunch of lanes here, or not a bunch of lanes, just one lane that sort of maces its way. It's not a true maze, obviously, because zombies almost find the shortest one anyway, but it sort of winds its way up there like a snake, zigzag, and they get killed by the multitude of dart traps that are set on both sides too high, triggered by trip bars and stunned by the electric fences. And I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different, uh, I guess, areas here, and they generally only made it into the first two, maybe the third one, I think maybe one made it into the fourth one, because they pretty much just got slaughtered, and that was really effective, even at high game stage, and 64 zombies, that's what we had. And if you saw that, you noticed that there was one big missed opportunity. We had tons of loot. And we're not talking about 10 or 15 or 20 loot bags. I think over the whole night, there was like continually 50 loot bags just laying around, which means that total, I don't know, 100 or more that we couldn't access because we're standing in here and there's no way to easily get down here to loot because all the zombies here. And that's what I want to look at today. How can I change this build? And I'm not going to make this one. I'm going to make a new one uh, to be equal effective, but also allow us to do looting so we can get all that delicious, nice loot. And that's really what this is all about. Thanks for watching all of my videos and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, make sure you hit that notification bell as well and uh, follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to join me on Discord. So I found a nice area which I think should work fairly well. I'm going to sort of flatten it out a little bit uh, because I need more space. I realized that previously that having some incline around just made it a lot more annoying. So I'm just going to basically just uh, something like this. Does that look good? Of course, I am using the creative menu here. Now let's bring it out a little bit more here. A little bit more space just helps. Let's do something like... Eh, like that. It gives me a nice uh, area here that I can uh, just, let me see, just clear it. Good. A lot easier. And then there's still a nice slope for zombies to run up. The reason being is that I don't want to make it so high, uh, but I need a little bit more extra space in order to fit things in. And uh, it just helps to do it this way. You can, of course, uh, build this anywhere you want to, but this just helps. I mean, it's, it's uh, sometimes uh, building really high ramps just is a little bit annoying, uh, so we're going to try not to do that. We're going to do four up. I noticed that having too much up doesn't really help because it gets really unwieldy to build because you need to make so much pillows and everything. I'm still going to have some, but at least I can use sort of the train to my advantage. So we now have this four here. We are going to, of course, make it six because that's a really good uh, width for it. However, we're going to make it slightly lopsided for here. I noticed that last time when I was making this, if I did something like this and uh, oh, it should be like this, uh, then it actually worked better because I can block off the view here. I don't have to have zombie C straight into where I was, and that's really what I want to have. So I am going to make it also to actually. Okay, I'm gonna make it like this, and we're gonna have our first here. And I, I may. Oh no 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 no! Stop it! Stop it! Give it back! I need these ones. These ones are important. They are key to the building. Actually, I don't know sure where they're key actually, but they really do help. So we're going to have two there. We're going to go out one more. Let's do this. And then we put these ones up here. And we are going to have... Um, we're going to start with a two wide opening. Because I don't think necessarily one is enough. Uh, we did see that last time where even though it was super effective, they do crowd in the the area here so giving them a little bit more space probably makes sense okay now we have like this and we are let me make a couple more pillows here these are just to support the build where i'm figuring things out uh, i have to figure out what i'm going to do beyond this uh, i am going to i'm going to go down a little bit and that's why you'll see where i made it a little bit taller because i need more space underneath and why do I need space underneath? Well, because I need to be able to access all the loot. So let's do that. And we're going to make this too wide as well. And this is obviously going to change, actually. And this is where the trick is. Okay, let me do like this. 
and then we are going to put this up like this and we probably just need one here all right so this is the outline this is what we're going to be testing from okay so the big question is if the loot ends up here let's say we have uh come on uh, like this let's see we have our first dart traps here and the second one here how do we access loot that ends up here that is really the big question how do we do that mm, i'm going to remove these ones i'm gonna see let's see here if i take these ones and i put them like um, hello sir thanks for coming by fortunately it's not ready we're not ready for you so you will not be surviving not that you'll survive anyway sorry all right um, uh, okay so now hmm now we do have an interesting axis here actually possibly so that one is there where we may as i sort of try to uh, figure out how to do this the best way um oh we end up with one here as well can i something like this and then something like this okay probably do this as well like this and we have i can remove this one i do need something there because it needs to hold up this one but i could put a i have a plate yeah let's put a plate here but now we switch this one around like this then it still holds up because we need to hold this one up so everything doesn't collapse because it needs to be connected to the side right um and then if i do here let's make a small little platform we have somewhere to stand maybe we have to go up a little bit i'm not sure about the angle but let's see so if i sort of have oh but actually no no wait 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 concrete there is actually this one the watch incline might actually work even better let's see if we put this one in uh actually it doesn't make any difference it gives me a slightly different angle here but i'm not sure that makes any difference other than maybe now I mean, it gives it a little bit more space, but <laughs> ultimately that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. So, nope, sorry. But if we have that there, uh, okay, we put one up here, then I can actually stand here and I can collect it. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's, let's uh, fill this one out again. Let's do this. All right, and let's freeze the zombies here and let's see if we can get a uh maybe i don't get the oh i do okay so it's there so it i was hoping i could get it to fall down which doesn't seem to be the case so if i have a bunch of them here all right so they do sort of fall down towards the middle oh actually now this is not too shabby. They might all actually be well accessible here. Let's uh, let me get in more. Let me see if I can get in like 25. And then I do another 25 here. If I'm standing just here, I can loot these ones. I can loot these ones. Um, having here, I have even better access. Come on, get away. Go away away with his feet um question do you need this one or would i let's say a half block is a half block enough 
because that would make it a lot easier to go up and down because you can sort of just crouch if i crouch i can go i can go underneath this might actually be better and actually i can just walk off here if i want to and access the loot this way this seems to work now the downside is that zombies might actually see me and decide that they want to target me but that's uh potentially another issue okay so let's uh let's start with that so let's assume that works and it means i do have to do the same here as well all right, so let me switch out all the flooring to the same here as well okay so we can see the outline of it now and i think this actually should work fairly well so i'm gonna add on another one maybe one and a half more of these ones so maybe just double it so i have another two and then a one at the end because i don't think we need more than that we don't want to make it too long my concern is if you make it too long the path to the player will be too long and instead of uh, pathing all the way through they might want to dig down here and we definitely don't want that to happen whatsoever all right here we now have Two double links and one single link, which I think is going to be enough for what we actually need. And I'm going to put down a way down. Let me see. Is this enough? Let me check. A uh, little bit cramped. Let's move it back one. We're going to need a way down. The majority of this space actually is not going to necessarily be above ground. It's above ground. What I'm talking about. It's not going to be on the top. Uh, because it's not really meant as um, a manual fighting base. I will put a platform up here anyway, though, a, a small tower, because I'm anticipating that there will be so much loot that you'll probably be spending a lot of the time underneath here and maybe doing some repair and only occasionally being up here unless you're multiple players. So the focus is going to be underneath here. So now we have like this. We have all these laid out. So this is really where the zombies would be coming. And if they get all the way here, we will be doing something slightly different. Yeah, let's see, like this. Uh, we are going to put in uh, some, probably some turrets here. So that um, if there are any zombies that make it all the way here, that will have some turrets that will shoot them down. Because we need to really decimate them before they get down into the, well, the base proper here. So this is... This is sort of the outline, and um, so you'll have the zombies, come on, what did I throw now? Oh, yeah, keep, pick them up. They'll come up here, and they'll be sapped, they'll be hit by the electric fences and the dart traps here, and the fact that this one is just a gentle slope means that question is so i'm going to try a couple of different things so this is easier to switch out if i want to so i was figuring if they're like this they will be hit by both the traps here i'm also considering that if i do can i shift this one i can let's see if i do this and i do that will it actually fit in come on you you you, you there yeah you you no i mean you 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 yay Oh, but it doesn't fall down. Oh, but maybe it will. No, it still doesn't fall down. Hmm. Unless you have a lot of running back and forth, then maybe it will. Oh, it, then it would. Hmm. So I'm going to try with uh, just these ones, and I'm going to try with... Uh, actually, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do both actually. So maybe it's do like this. Um, and for this one here, maybe I will do the actual ramp. My concern by having the ramps, oh, let's do that. We need to take that one and change. And this one should be copy rotation. Yes. Um, my concern is that if you do the ramp, like this zombies will not be able to get through that's not the issue the issue is that they'll be lower here and i'm not sure whether all these zombies will still be hit in the head by because right I'm, I'm sort of in the middle here and i don't know whether i'll be hit in the head by this one i maybe actually will maybe not all of them might not be such a huge issue though we'll see well i will have to see because if we can get them to actually fall down 
Let's do another 25 uh, demolishers here. If I do kill all, will they actually fall down? Um, I don't think necessarily they will. See, they still don't really fall down. I mean, maybe because the zombies will be running here. Maybe that will help to... Uh, oh yeah, actually. That might actually be enough to nudge them down. Um, anyway, so anyway, then they'll keep running here. They'll keep running here. They'll get here. They want to get down to the player. And... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to try this. Because if I can get them to fall down, that's even better. Because that allows us to do some really interesting things to avoid the zombies actually seeing us. Um, and also, it's still easier to grab here. Actually, I don't think I need this one. Because I can definitely grab them. Because I'm a little bit concerned that the zombies will... When I come here, the zombies will see me and they'll start vomiting at me and stuff like that. Which I don't want to. Uh, I just definitely don't want them to aggro on me. But if I can get them to fall down like this... Wow, this makes it really easy to loot. So that might be something that I could do even better. Hmm. So let's try that. We'll, we'll try uh, both approaches. Uh, we'll see uh, both ways if... Oh, let me give it a position. Yeah, there is. Uh, if this is better. And sort of see which one works out. Uh, and maybe they'll both work out really well. Um, because ramps might, might be preferred. We'll see. Oh, they walk across here anyway so that and that's not an issue shouldn't make them jump or anything might makes them go up and down a little bit but that's not a major issue um we'll see we'll see so let me uh put in the traps here as well and uh, i'll run a couple of tests okay so we're gonna place down an engine uh let's do that uh, that doesn't really matter let's put it here for now let's pump in some engines Let's uh, refuel it. Let's turn it on once only. Refuel it more though. And as you see, I've uh, sort of locked off here because we're going to have some... Actually, let's have some auto turrets. Um, let's do these. I'm probably going to have a little bit of both. Come to think of it. Auto turrets a little bit better against... Um, against armored targets but shotgun turrets are better against uh, non-armored targets so let's have uh, one of each on each side oh no that's not what we want like this and like this so these gonna be set to basically any zombies that come through here they are going to be shooting we are uh, gonna have to make sure that it, they don't fire at them here. That's not really what we want. It's not a huge deal, but we'll probably block that off like this nicely. And then this one we put in the dart trap. So I'm gonna do this uh, once just to show you how it's done. And then you'll know enough that you can do it yourself as well. So like this, one dart trap here first and then one dart trap there. And we're gonna do the tripwire post, put it here, and put it there. Right. Then we need the electric fence post that we are. And people have highlighted that you can actually lay it down. Let's see if I can get it to lay down. Then I might not need a lot of extra space. I think I need some uh, like this. Yes, I do need extra space here. Let's do that and lay it down like it still falls down, of course. Um, then it becomes too wide. Now, let's do it like this then. Like this. Okay, this will work. It has to be behind basically. I do it like this and like this. Okay, uh, correct. So then. We go from, we are going to have a switch. Do we have a switch on me? Do I have a switch on me? I do. Let's uh, put that one here. For these. Let's have two switches. One for the turrets. And one for everything else. Okay, so this one. Now, and if you notice, 
The switch now takes one watt regardless. It's one of the changes in Alpha 18.3. Anyway, so we go first to the tripwire. Tripwire 1. Tripwire 1 goes over to tripwire 2. Very important, you see it's connected. Tripwire 2 goes to electric fence 2. And this one goes across to electric fence 1. Right? So I see this is all working really well. So now the trip bar and the electric fence is done, but it's not completed. So now from the trip bar two, we go to the dot trap. From the dot trap, we go across to the other dot trap, right? So now all this is connected. This is where you then put in the second dot trap like this and like this. And the easiest way of connecting is basically Take it from the bottom dot trap up to the top one and redo that on both sides. And done. And now, since that is done, we are going to put in our arrow slits. Arrow slits. Done. And then we put in some darts. And do a bunch of them. And you basically put that in on all sides and make sure you lock the ammo. Okay, I've now put that in, so it's all here. Um, let me see if I can spawn in. Just not 25. I'm gonna do a look at me. Let's do a zombie. Let's do a let's like him. Oh, let's enable the app. Okay, okay, fine. Let me see here. Oh no, no, no! Give me my pistol. Of course, I I know why. I know why. I, Oh, I didn't even connect this one. Okay, so I didn't know why. This one has to be on. And... No, it was connected. Oh, it just wasn't... Oh, that's weird. Why is it going through the... Alright, alright, alright. Fine, fine, fine. So let's do this then. Let's put in... Uh, Arlene. And... Dead. And now, we're not going to go in, but you want to check to see that all of them have fired. You basically just see... Okay, 498. 498. 498. Perfect. This was exactly what we wanted. So this lane works perfectly. And um, I'm going to basically replicate that across. I'm also going to, let's do that here. We're going to connect all the turrets. So let's do this. Uh, actually, let's take a turret to a turret like this and then do a cross and like this. And I'm going to put some ammo. Let's get shotgun the three one two three and let's get some nine millimeter as well one two three one two three and let's put them on so I'll shotgun turret one oh that's the regular one all right like this on strangers and stuff that is fine one two three like this and let's do this one here lock ammo really important and one two three now let's turn off this, let's turn on this, and let's redo it. Let's see if we uh, put in a, a bow ferrule. Okay, if I'm here, he should pat to me. He should have been patting to me once. Oh, he's not patting to me. Hmm. Was it digging there? Right, let's let's actually try. Uh, no, we should be there. Let's try that again. Let's lock the AI for a moment. Uh, let's put in the bow ferrule. Let's make sure we do this, and then. No. Okay, now it's running. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it got confused. I might have to reinforce these ones into metal. Um, we'll see. I mean, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I, I can obviously detach the the camera later on and test it out because obviously we want him to fall here. Maybe he's confused by the fact that he thinks he can get down somewhere. But anyway, it's, it's supposed to be him coming here. Um, there's supposed to be a nice path for him to get. And if it gets all the way there, then the turrets are supposed to take care of whatever rest remaining health, uh, health points he has. Ooh, will he try to go here? Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to figure that out. So let me finish up the rest of the dot traps here. And uh, are these ones despawning? 
Do this one despawn? Oh yeah, but that takes a really long time actually. Hmm. Anyway, I'll, I'll get all this done and we'll be back. And I'm filling out here in the side as well, just to protect everything from cop vomit and from vision. Uh, I'll, I'm putting in a little bit of uh, bulletproof glass as well, just to give it a little bit of light in. Not that it really matters during the hot time, but you know, at least during the daytime it looks a little bit prettier. I'll be doing like this. So we have a little bit of light coming in. I'll probably make... Um, yeah, I'll probably build this up one more and have a glass ceiling as well because, you know, who doesn't like to have a little bit of light in? But this is the general way of how it is and it's fairly well protected now. So we should be able to uh, do some initial test. Let me see. Let me turn everything on. Let me get an extra engine just in case because I didn't use all of them. Turn off. Let's get two. And let's do this. Refuel, turn on. What's the draw? Oh, 7.6, but that's because of the, the turret, so that's all right. I probably would have done two separate ones. But anyway, um, so I am going to, let's uh, do like this. Let's get a bunch of, and let's block the AI here. They are coming correctly. Uh, let me stand down here. Let me detach the camera. And let's see if I do like this. Where they, do they go? Okay, they are going the correct way, which is important. All right. Uh, the dog traps are not firing. Oh, that's because I didn't fill them up. Oh, that's all right. Just means that they go a bit further. What if I turn off like this? It should make it even further now. And oh, okay. Now they're beating me, but it's just fine. You see my? <laughs> all right. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Fine. Fine. That's all right. All right. Okay. So this works. Uh, just fine. They are going where they should be. Let me try. Uh, turn it off again. Let's do another biker ferals. Right. And I'm going to stand down here because this is pretty much as far away as they can get. Let's detach the cam again. Let's do this. Let's see, do they run the correct way? Because that's the important thing. We don't want them to stop. We don't, we want them to, oh yeah. Oh, perfectly. Nice. Interesting that they sort of want to stop here to beat this iron one. Okay, one went down. Okay, I'm bleeding, that's all right. Okay, okay. So all, okay, okay, done, done, done. Interesting that they are like this. Interesting that, where am I? Oh, here he is. Interesting that they come up here and try to get through here instead of running down to get me. Hmm. Weird AI. But that works perfectly. I still need to stock these ones with with the darts. That's why they weren't firing. But I think this is exactly what we want. So it seems to be working well. So I am going to finish this off. Then I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough and then we're going to start off with another horde and it's going to be high game stage. 525 and 64 concurrent. Woohoo! And here we are, the completed base where I have uh, nicely encased the sides. Obviously, we need to make sure we protect them. I have a little bit of an area here that I can stand on. I'll show you inside in just a moment. And of course, the same here on this side. And let me go in. Uh, you come in. Oh, oh no. Crap. I, I enabled all the traps apparently so i have a multiple lanes here i have steel these ones up because i'm a bit concerned they might dig down we'll figure that out as we go along we come down here where i do have a door in to this area where you can come up and you can have a good view of uh, the zombies come in i have blocked off this whole area here so zombies will not be visible until they're here which means you won't have cops vomiting at you for no reason of course you can close it and you have all the the turrets here as well you have the generator bank you can refuel it turn things on and off and you can go down here or you can go out here 
to get down to the bottom and this is where we'll be doing our looting hopefully anyway and this is where we see on this side we have the rams and this one we just have the half wedges and we will see which one works the best question is where they will actually see me if i stand well if i stand somewhere around hmm Maybe if I stand here, let's see if I stand here, we start with that to see if they will actually see me. So uh, I am obviously going to be detaching the camera so we can see what happens and I'll be starting a Blood Moon Horde. And the Horde should be coming in here. We'll see if it starts spawning. And yes, it is from that side, which is all right. Now the crucial thing is to see where they actually go. Um, we want them to come up here yep that's what we want we want to make sure they run in properly um, and not anywhere else and that seems to be happening here they seem to be pathing rather than digging down remember i'm standing right below here if i go down here i'll see myself so i am right below here uh, these ones are going the way they should be they are pathing the correct way and we do have 64 concurrent zombies and we do have a high game stage of 525 so this is a high one. They are, interestingly, they're definitely congregating in this area. Um, they are trying to path through, but a little bit less than I thought. Some of them seem to be a little bit confused and running out, which is actually quite fine as long as they don't destroy anything. We have one that walked up here and that's why I put uh, made the site a little bit higher. Oh, the zombies are falling through. I see the zombies sliding down, which are all right as long as... Nope, that's all right. Um, yeah, no, this works. seems to work really well. The important thing, I was wanted to make sure that they don't fall down and start to attack here. Uh, if they do end up down here, they should be pathing up again. That's why I wanted to have sort of a gentle slope. And they all running and then they... Oh, yep, he definitely comes around. Because they're all running up the way they should be, because that's really important. None of them are falling down. They're all running in here as well, which is what we wanted. And, oh, we have one that is trying to... Okay, so some of them seem to be wanting to beat on this side here. Like him. I wonder if it's because they don't like that I'm standing there the whole time. So... Uh, Let's uh, see here. Okay, some of the loot is coming down. Whoa. Okay, I can definitely loot here. That's all right. I can do my looting here. If there's any here, I could loot there and I can loot here. That's all right as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's run over here. This is the easiest way in. Oh, one cop exploded. And again, this is where you want to be able to stand up here if you want to take out the cops, for instance. I could uh, do this. Nice Molotov in the right location. I can do this. Oh, did I miss? Okay, you can do something like this. And of course, oh, you can actually get a really good place for headshots here. Oh, are you here? One of these ones have actually degraded. You can hear the bzz, 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 which means one of them have degraded. So let's go and see if we can, uh, yep, do a quick repair here. Yep, all done. It's back up. We can do the same thing here. Oh, it's only one side that degrades actually, so that's all right. And uh, things are up as they should be. And let me get back here. So now that I'm here, let me, um, Attach the cam again to see. Are they still trying to get out? They are dealing damage to that one, which is they didn't do last time. I wonder why that is happening. Okay, so now that I'm over there, definitely they seem to be pathing more. So standing underneath here the whole time seems to confuse them a little bit. I think that at some point they think that the path is a little bit too long. Uh, some of the explosions from a hand grenade. I think uh, there was one or two cops that... Oh, you saw the cop. He beat the guys like, get out of here. 
Let me through. Officer coming through. Okay, but uh, this is just fine. And now they're definitely... Oh, yeah. You do see these ones rolling down. Not all of them. The corpses definitely are rolling down. Oh, yeah. It looks like they are rolling down when they move and they're sort of... Wow. The corpses are for sure. And the backpack seem to be nudged. So, uh, having the... Nine, uh, what a 45 degree ramps might actually be preferred because they still seem to be getting hit by the the dart traps that doesn't seem to be any issue um but the loot seems to fall down oh that's nice you see this one is there and then someone might be nudging it if uh, you're lucky okay so all right there's a bunch of things here let's see now i want to go down and I want to go down here to, uh, let's say I want to repair. Just to make sure that this one... Oh, okay. You, okay. Let's do that. You see a little bit of that, but you could do... Oh. oh, did I take damage through that? Possibly. Let's say you go like, okay, that's using up a lot of darts, so let's replace them. That seems to work as well. Just a quick replacing and... Yep. Don't trigger these ones yourself. Oh, there's some damage from the explosion and everything. It's not that bad. Oh, but we're getting the loot down here. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. It looks like the explosion damage is coming through here. So you probably want to make sure these ones are upgraded. Uh, I don't think that's... Is it going to explode? Yep. You do see the explosion damage. But... You can do all the looting and I guess you could. All these ones have actually been taking damage from from the explosions. I don't think that's beating because these are too low. There is obviously some explosion. Actually, you could stand down here if I wanted to. If you really wanted to, you could definitely just stand here. Oh, you see, they're all being bust here. Wow. So some of them, when I'm below, they seem to want to go through some of the blocks here. It's mostly when I'm below. I think it is because they see that if they go through here and they go down, they have a path to the player. Uh, so that is potentially something to figure out how to get around. Because once you're not, then they path much better. But look at the look, look at this amount of zombies. Well, I mean, this is 64 concurrent. That's why they're continually coming. So overall, I have to say this works really, really well with a loot trench here. You definitely can loot through. Um, looking at how this one sort of turns out, having the 35 degree, uh, sorry, the, third, the 45 degree ramps is probably the best. And uh, now that I know this works, I would, oh, how noisy it is. Oh, it's really noisy. I would probably put 45 degree ramps all over um, and probably bring down this floor another three or four blocks or something such, such that uh, the explosions doesn't hurt it because when the zombies are exploding up here it is doing damage to the floor which is not really what we want and as you can see most of the loot packs that are here are falling down the ones that are here obviously get stuck uh, these ones get stuck as well so if you have 45 degrees you can have them all come down which is much better uh, this time we are seeing some more uh, cops that are exploding uh, because of too many zombies here which is a little bit interesting maybe i just happen to get more cops that are coming in the demolishers don't seem to be any issues cops exploding obviously do more damage potentially i could have uh, two more dart traps here firing inwards and same thing here just to increase uh, the deadliness of this area because you see most of them are either here or here you could even have dart traps here uh, without maybe without the electric fences just in order to soften up a little bit you see here the, the demolishers do make it fairly far in but they definitely get destroyed anyway and they're not setting off uh, C4. You see it comes down. Let's see. He's going to die really fast, I think. The stun helps. It just slows them down so much. And then the dart traps do the rest of it. And the demolishers, I think they drop 
one in three or one in four drop uh, loot bags. So there's tons of, wow, that's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's, a, wow, that's what happens. We have a really bad horde, which is just fine. It doesn't matter. But the, these ones do degrade fairly quickly. If I was going to remake this one, which I probably will, I would probably make sure I can easier way of handling this. Maybe even have a second layer of electric fences that I can enable if the first one degrades. Uh, because that seems to be happening fairly often. It's not critical though, it just means that they come further in. It's a little bit annoying to listen to. But you see, here where there's a 45 degree angle, loot packs roll down and we end up having them all down here. So you could imagine doing that slightly differently. You're having them roll all the way to a better area. Uh, like this one roll down here, this one roll down here, and then you just sort of... Oh, do they make it all the way here? maybe not uh, and then you sort of have them all roll down to one collection area i think that might actually even be possible that's something that i talked with uh, someone on my discord about having them roll down i was even considering using hatches but this seems to work just fine by itself what do you think morning has come we've gotten through all of it uh, there is obviously some damage here and there uh you see here this one seems to be taking a lot of damage. I don't think they've been bashing. I think it's just that there's been a few cops that have been exploding right here. So I definitely would make sure that I had um, probably steel plates underneath just to double up. You see these ones as well. They're taking damage maybe because they're getting stuck a little bit and bashing. That also might be an issue, so having a double plate or something might uh, be worthwhile. Again, just to make sure that they don't fall down. And uh, when I tested this one previously, I actually had one of these plates fail, and they drop down there, and of course, then they run all the way through. So doubling up these plates probably is the way to go. Something like something like this. Uh, that would uh, definitely make sure that. Even if one of the plate uh, gets destroyed, then the second one is still going to be active. And you could do something like that on, see here, advanced like this as well, just to make sure that you have extra, um, let's do this, extra protection in case something breaks so they don't actually get down. And can you do that? No, okay, that's fine. So that even if one of these four breaks that they won't get through, there'll still be a plate underneath to prevent them falling all the way through. Because, yeah, that, that causes you a headache if that happens. But, yeah, no, this works really well. You can see bags here. That's all right because they get stuck. Ba oh. uh, bags here as well because they get stuck. But here they all fall down. There's no bags laying on the side because... They might fall down and stop, but then another zombie will rush past and nudge a little bit and then continues falling. And that's why we have all these loot bags down here. And one lone one. Oh, sorry. Too late. Too little. So what do you think about this approach to loot? I think it's definitely much better than previously. Interesting is they really don't make it far through here at all. Having multiple this, this is probably a good size. One, two, three, four lanes, three, two big ones and two small ones is definitely enough, I think. Especially putting in a charge so that any that do come through will get shot down and having a way to loot. And yeah, I'm going to play around with this one change it to 45 degree and everything but what do you think is this more effective is this something you would use and how would you uh, how would you improve it what would your take be would you use the 45 degree angles to collect the loot in a central place would you use something else such as powered hatches maybe opening and closing it with a switch are there other ways to sort of uh, soften up the zombies maybe having a, a dot traps firing even uh, even here and maybe even there as well, just to help to soften them up because you want to have them as squishy as possible once they reach this area because otherwise they might, especially the cops and everything, might they might start triggering. So making them a bit more squishy always helps. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. And uh, of course, I will catch you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.